FNAF News. I'm your host, the TNT Muffet, and today we're going to be talking about U2's The FNAF 2 Movie, Into the Pit, and more. Now starting off with the U2's news, U2's has just revealed our first look at a FNAF movie figure. Now this is clearly the Freddy head with the saws in it from that like torture Freddy stuffing chair from the movie. As far as we know, Mike is going to be the character inside of this because we know the Mike character has got something going on with his right hand. They didn't want to reveal it before and I assume it's because he's strapped down into that chair. I cannot wait for that figure. That's going to be so cool. Not only do we get Mike, but he's inside of this chair with a Freddy head coming down on him. We don't see the full thing yet, just this head. Only issue I have is that it's a little bit too blue. It should be like a little bit of a greenish brown color, but I don't care. It looks great. They also revealed a new look at the Balloon Boy plushie. Before we got a shot of his back, and now we get a front view of him showing us his entire face. It's a pretty interesting design. His eyes have a lot of detail on them with the U2's little logo just being highlights inside of it. I think it looked really good. There is a lot of printing on his hat and his body, but I think the face looks really good and it does look like a pretty cute plushie. With this being revealed alongside a lot of FNAF movie merch, I assume this is gonna be in the FNAF movie wave since Balloon Boy was in the movie. They also revealed a new look at the ruined Glamrock Chica figure. In the past, we got art of this, and now this is our first look at the physical version of it. I think this looks really good. It's definitely one of the most detailed FNAF figures they've made. It's got loads of detail on it, very accurate to ruined Chica, and she has a pretty cool base there as well on top of the trash with some pizza thrown in. So this is going to be a part two to the ruined wave. We know it's going to include this figure as well as some pins, and some of them they have revealed. We got this image showing a new pin set they're going to be making, one of them being Mexi's holding a sign saying blocked and reported, one of them is the Ruin Eclipse, one of them is Cassie with the Vanny mask on, one of them is Helpy, and one of them is the baby. It seems like they're going a little bit more with the memes on this one, because you know you've got that Mexi's holding that sign and the Mimic saying the Mimic in front of the Mimic. So yeah, there's that Ruin Wave 2 coming eventually. We also now know that this little wave of merch will be releasing on April 19th. We have another piece of news on U2's pins, which is that the next set of Pop Goes pins has been slightly changed. The pins themselves are the same, but the box has been changed from blue to yellow. The reason was because apparently a few of the FNAF pin sets already have blue boxes, so Kane wanted this to stand out from those. Now we have some unfortunate news here. Welcome to FNAF Bad News. I'm your host, the TNT Muffin, and today the FNAF movie 2 has been delayed. I mean, we never got a release date for the movie and we still don't have one, but we did have a date for when they were gonna start filming and now we know it's gonna be happening later. Originally, it was said that the FNAF 2 movie was gonna be starting filming in July. Now they're saying it's gonna be starting filming in the fall, which is unfortunate, but you know, I guess they needed more time to make the animatronics look better, build some cool sets, so it's understandable and I think it's a good idea. So yeah, that kind of sucks. The movie is going to be releasing later than we thought, and we're going to be getting some big news later than we thought. But, you know, they're putting a lot of effort into it, and I think it's going to be a really cool thing. Actually, we won't need to wait a long time for big news on the movie because we just got some pretty big news on the movie. Jason Blum made a tweet saying, Jim Henson's Creature Shop is working their magic again. We aren't sure what they're working on, but we know it will be great. And you can clearly see there in the image, there's somebody working on a small version of Mangle. They're clearly not really close to being finished with the animatronics for the movie, so that kind of explains why filming's not gonna be happening for a bit. But from what we can see here, looks like they're gonna be awesome. The small model he's building there, from what we can see, looks very accurate to Mangle in game, which is really exciting to see. Some other pieces of Mangle are scattered around the table, like on the bottom right, right you can see Mangle's head and also a little bit left you can see the tail. There's also pieces of some other characters as you can see on the left there's Toy Bonnie's head and also some of his other pieces on the bottom left. No clear shots of them just yet but from what we can see just like the FNAF 1 movie
movie, the animatronics seem to be very faithful recreations of the characters from in-game, and I'm really excited to see what they turn out looking like. Also in the background, you can see Shadow Freddy's foot as well as some endoskeleton pieces. Not sure if those are going to be in the second movie or if they just have those left over from the first, but pretty cool to see. So yeah, some pretty big news there. Our first look at the animatronics from the FNAF 2 movie. All right, now a big piece of movie news here. I did not expect this to happen, but Blumhouse made a tweet saying, we are confirming for the first time that there will be a sequel to Five Nights at Freddy's coming fall 2025. It's pretty wild to be getting news about the release time for this movie so far in advance because they haven't even started filming yet. They're going to be filming this fall and then the next fall the movie is going to be releasing. So that's really cool. I will say the movie is coming out a bit later than I expected. It seems like the post-production is going to take longer on this one than it did for the first movie because that one it filmed in the spring released in the fall of the same year. This one's going to be filming in the fall and then releasing fall of the next year. So it'll take a bit longer, but I cannot wait. It's pretty long from now, like a year and a half, but I mean, we waited like nine years for the first movie, so we can wait two or whatever for the second one. Speaking of FNAF movie news, there have been some rumors that Blumhouse is interested in FNAF movie spin-offs. We're not sure if this is spin-off movies like, you know, Sister Location, FNAF 4, or if it's about TV shows like Into the Pit or Tales from the Pizzaplex, but apparently spin-offs might be an option in the future, of course, if the series continues to be as successful as the first movie was. One of Blumhouse's biggest hits of all time, so of course they want to make more of this stuff and the fans love it as well. I think all that stuff could be awesome to see. Spin-offs sound like a great idea, uh, but we'll have to wait a long time to see what happens with that. Speaking of Into the Pit, we got a new screenshot of the game here. You can see with Oswald at a counter in a pizzeria, as well as some text on screen. Not anything too big here. I don't think this reveals anything major. If it does, let me know in the comments, but still cool to be seeing a new screenshot. And while we're talking about games, we have some news on the fanverse because Nixon made a tweet saying, Here's the music and main menu I made for the demo. I'm so excited to show you all what I've been cooking up. And it's a video showing the main menu for the joy of creation, or at least the demo of it, with some music playing in the background. I think that's awesome to see. We've seen gameplay in the past, but this just brings us further along and seeing what the full game is going to be like. It looks pretty sweet. I think this is going to be a really cool fanverse game, and I can't wait to play that demo. We also recently got a Steam page for My Pop Goes, which is an upcoming Pop Goes game, officially part of the Fazbear Fanverse initiative. We've got some images there on the Steam page showing some new characters like Stone the Crow, Long Pop Goes, a new location, which is Candies, and also some interesting lore about Pop Goes, which is that his real name is Oliver. That's a big surprise. I don't know why his name's Oliver. I thought it was Pop Goes, but apparently not. This is like when you find out The Rock's name's actually Dwayne. So yeah, some interesting lore there. I don't know if that applies to the main games, but I assume it does. I suppose it should be called Oliver Evergreen, not Pop Goes Evergreen but you know, that doesn't sound as good. So maybe Pop Goes Evergreen is a better name. Continuing on with news about green things, FYE has just released a new Montgomery Gator Fizzy Fats. This is a sour lime flavor. I expected it to taste just like Sprite. It doesn't, but it tastes pretty good. I like it. This also now makes it pretty likely, in my opinion, that we'll be getting a fourth drink eventually. You know, the Glam Rock Chica Fizzy Fats with, I assume, a strawberry flavor. No confirmation on that, but pretty safe to assume. I wonder what in-universe stuff they're gonna make after the sodas, cause that's all the sodas after the Chica one, so are they gonna move on to like sunny drops, moon drops? That would be pretty cool. Next up we have some pretty interesting book news, which is that an interactive novel has been revealed called Five Nights at Freddy's the week before. It's gonna be an interactive book, I guess, where you can like choose your own paths or whatever, and it's gonna have over 25 endings. So this seems like a pretty big thing. Over 25 endings, that's a lot. As far as I can remember, I've only read books with one ending, so that's pretty interesting, you know? It's like In Space with Markiplier in book form. But that's all the news we have today. So, if you want to subscribe, you can click the button on top of my head. If you want to watch one of my last news videos, you can click that button over there. And if you want to see some other video I made, you can click that button over there. And I'll see you when we get some more news on the FNAF 2 movie.